Hello friends, this video on magnetic effects of current part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Okay, so with this we will end our discussion on uh, the magnetic field due to different types of current carrying conductors. Right, so what did we observe so far? So far we have seen that any conductor which is carrying current will produce magnetic field around itself. Now, what are the pat what is the pattern of the magnetic field lines? What on what factors the magnetic field strength depends? It varies from types of conductor. Like in this case, we have discussed three types. One is a straight conductor, one is a circular loop, and the third one is a solenoid. So now we will talk about magnetic force. What is magnetic force? I mean, what what are we going to discuss in this magnetic force? So basically what we are going to talk about this magnetic force is that as I mentioned in the previous few slides that any current carrying conductor will produce magnetic field. Now this magnetic field is capable of exerting a force on a magnet which is placed in the vicinity and this magnet in turn can again exert a force on the current carrying conductor. So that means current carrying conductor gave rise to the magnetic field and the current carrying conductor again experiences a force because of the magnetic field. So right now we are go going to talk about this force which is exerted because of the magnetic field. So the force due to a magnetic field acting on a current carrying conductor. So it, it is like a vice versa effect. You have, let us suppose this was your current carrying conductor. This produced a magnetic field. Now this magnetic field will exert a force on the current carrying conductor. A, a force will get exerted on the current carrying conductor because of this magnetic field. So we will talk about that force. So how, how was this observed? This was also, this also happened experimentally. What was done? A rod was taken. Here this AB is a rod which was taken and it was hung in this fashion and then it was connected to a circuit so that a current can flow through the circuit when you close this switch. So when you close the switch or when you switch it on a current will flow through this rod right. There was so now as soon as current flows through this rod what will happen a magnetic field will be produced in the vicinity of this rod. Now if you place a magnet in the vicinity of this rod what will happen this magnetic field which is produced around this rod will exert a magnetic force, will exert a force on this magnet. This magnet in turn will exert an equal and opposite force on this rod. So this is the force which we are referring as magnetic force. Now what kind of force was experienced? Let us have a look at that. Now when the switch was closed it was found that the current was flowing in this direction. Because this was positive, this was negative. So the current was flowing in this fashion. That means this was the direction of current through this rod. Now it was seen that and this was the north pole and the south pole of the magnet respectively. So what was the direction of the magnetic field? The direction of magnetic field was upwards. Now are you understanding how it is placed? The, this magnet is a horseshoe magnet. So you have placed the horseshoe magnet and you have placed the rod perpendicular to the plane of the magnet such that the magnetic field is in the upward direction. Right? So now what happens in the, ma in the presence of this magnetic field? It was observed that this current carrying rod got displaced in this direction. Now when will an object gets displaced? when there will be a force experienced by that object. I mean, let us suppose if you have two objects. Now, if this object is getting attracted towards this object, that means there is a force which is acting, which is trying to pull this object near this object, right? So whenever there is a motion, that means there is a force involved, right? So here also, if it is getting displaced towards left, that means there is a force involved. Now, what was done? It was seen. Now, the arrangement was reversed. The direction of the battery was reversed such that the direction of current is in this direction. Now as the current's direction was changed, it was seen that the rod got displaced in this direction. So that means the first observation was that as soon as the direction of current in the wire, in the rod changes, the, direc the, the, the direction of displacement also changes. So force on the rod reverses as current changes direction. Now the second thing which was observed with that 
let us suppose we keep the current in the same direction but if we change or if we reverse the north and south pole of the magnet what happens in that case the magnetic field will be in the downward direction again in that case also it was seen that the displacement was in the opposite direction so that means this force changes as the direction of current changes it also changes as the direction of magnetic field changes so the direction of the force on the conductor depends upon the direction of current and the direction of magnetic field so what was the conclusion from this a current carrying rod experiences a force perpendicular to its length and magnetic field so if you if we place a current carrying rod in a magnetic field it will experience a force due to the magnetic field and this force will be perpendicular to its length and also perpendicular to the magnetic field so that means this force which is experienced the magnetic field and the length each of these are perpendicular to each other because here you can see that the rod was placed perpendicular to the plane of the magnetic field and now it is experiencing a force again perpendicular to both of them so how do we find out the direction of the force so for that we again have another rule which is known as fleming's left hand rule please remember all these rules because they make things simple i mean if you remember the rules it will be very easy for you to determine the directions so fleming's left hand rule demonstrates a relationship between direction of magnetic field current and the force on the conductor so in the previous slide we saw that the magnetic field current and force they are all perpendicular to each other so how was the relationship determined take your left hand stretch all three fingers of yours the thumb the first finger and the middle finger stretch them perpendicular to each other so the, your thumb will represent the motion motion is nothing but the force this motion represents nothing but the force because there you saw right as i mentioned before if a rod is moving in this direction that means there is a force which is making it to move in this direction right similarly if you apply a force in this direction that means if you pull push this in this direction so it will move in this direction so this thumb represents motion which in turn represents the force field is represented by the first finger and the current is represented by the middle finger so if you know the direction of magnetic field and the direction of current you can determine the direction of the force which is acting on the conductor so in the experiment in the experimental setup which i mentioned in the previous slide we can apply this fleming's left hand rule and we can see that how we can determine the direction of force in different scenarios so let us have a look at that so this will i mean clarify your understanding of fleming's left hand rule so in the first figure let us suppose that this is my rod ab and let us suppose that the current flows in this direction let us suppose this is my battery and this is the direction of current through this rod and this is my north pole and this is my south pole so if this is my arrangement now we have to use fleming's left hand rule and we have to find out the direction of the force experienced by this current carrying conductor so how will we do that in this case what is the direction of current this is my direction of current what is the direction of magnetic field magnetic field will be in the upward direction because magnetic field direction is always from north pole to south pole so now you use your left hand try to point your first finger along the direction of magnetic field that is upward now what would be the direction of your middle finger it will be in the direction of the current so you rotate your hand accordingly such that your middle finger is in the direction of current and your uh, first finger is in the upward direction so what do you see where is the direction of your thumb your thumb points towards left so therefore we say that in this case this is the direction of current this is the direction of magnetic field so what is the direction of the motion the motion is in this direction so we say that the force is in this direction so the rod gets displaced in this direction now let us look at the second scenario now in the second scenario let us suppose i assume that here again the current still flows in the same direction i do not make any changes to the current what do i do i reverse the poles of this magnet now let us suppose this is my south pole and this is my north pole so in this case 
what would be the direction of force in this case again you use your left hand but now your mid uh, now your middle finger will again point towards the same direction but now your first finger should point downwards so when you point your first finger downwards your middle finger along the direction of current what do you see your thumb is pointing towards yourself i mean it is pointing towards the right so that means in this case the displacement will take place in the right direction so this will be the direction of displacement so what did you see if you reverse the poles of the magnet that means if you reverse the direction of magnetic field the direction of the force gets reversed that is what we told in the previous slide right now in the third case let us suppose this is my north pole and this is my south pole that is similar to the first case but in this case we are just changing the direction of current so now we say that the current flows like this right so this is the direction of current so in this case what is the direction of magnetic field it is upward again use your left hand point your first finger in the upward direction current in this direction so where is your thumb pointing it is pointing towards which direction so here you point your first finger in the upward direction point current in the direction as is mentioned there so your uh, thumb is pointing towards right so you say that the motion will be or the force will be in this direction so if you compare the first figure and the third figure what do you say if you change the direction of current alone the direction of the force changes right because you have kept the magnetic field same now in the fourth one again you assume that you have this as south pole this as north pole and this is the direction of current so in this case what will what will happen the direction of the magnetic field is in the downward direction so again you point your first finger in the downward direction right now point current in the backward direction so what do you see see for this you have to orient your left hand in the correct fashion right so this the first finger in downward direction orient your middle finger along the direction of current so what do you get the thumb is pointing towards left so that means the direction of force is towards left so i hope with the, see once you understand fleming's left hand rule try to implement the rule in each of these scenarios so if you are correctly able to get the response for each of these scenarios if you are able to determine the direction of the force for each of these scenarios that means you have understood fleming's left hand rule correctly right okay so here the most important thing is to orient your fingers in the correct fashion thank you please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thank you once again